Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to replace a silent fill valve kit. Here is everything that comes in the package and here are two wrenches. So the first step that we have to do is to turn off the water supply. We do this by twisting clockwise. Next I'm going to be flushing the toilet to let all the water out. Here you can see that not all the water goes out so we will have to get rid of this water later. The next step is to go to the bottom of the toilet and to unscrew both of these connectors here. I have a red bucket at the bottom to catch any water that leaks out. So here I will begin to unscrew the bottom part. I'm just going to twist it and you can hear the water leaking out into the bucket. So now the hose is loose and the next step is to unscrew the actual valve. Here you can see I put the bottom hose back on but you don't have to do this. I'm going to have to undo it later. I'm just using the wrench. And I've cut the footage of me doing it and after it's done you can see I, I'm just going to unhook this and pull it up. Here the water is leaking out and here you can see the old one on the right and the new one on the left. What you want to do is make sure that they are about the same length. You can see that mine is already about the same length but if yours isn't all you have to do is grab it, hold the bottom black part and the top and then just twist it like I'm doing here to make them the same height. But like I said mine are already good so I'm just going to leave it as it is. You can see the different color nozzles here that come with the kit and what you have to do is to remove this hose from your old valve and see what color nozzle it's using and then put the same color on to the new one. You can see mine is blue and my new one already has the blue one so I won't have to be switching it out. Now the next step, I just take the new valve and I place it back into position where the old one was. And then what I'm going to have to do is tighten it with the nut that came with the kit. Next I'm going to tighten it with the wrench. After it's tightened, we're going to be installing the bottom hose this is a piece that comes with the kit and we have to attach it to this overfill hose just like this And then we're going to take this hose and we're going to connect it to this part. Right here, I actually didn't connect it the correct way. The water from the hose would not go into the overfill valve. And next, we want to connect the other end of the hose into the blue nozzle. It's important to make sure it's really tight. So here you can see I'll be pushing it in and making sure there is a firm connection. In this picture, you can see how everything should look when you're finished with the hose. So after installing all of this, all we have to do now is to turn the water back on. Do this by twisting counterclockwise and you can hear the water rushing in. And now we just have to wait for the toilet to fill up. I've sped up this footage because this can take a while. We want to make sure the correct amount of water gets put into the toilet. 
As you can see, mine looks like it did pretty good. You can adjust this little screw to adjust how much water you want to fill up in your toilet. And after, what you should do is to make sure there aren't any leaks. Subscribe.